Elias is a PhD student in geodetic science at the Federal University of Parana, Brazil. Uh, he's graduated in surveying and cartographic engineering and has a master's in civil engineering with a concentration specifically on spatial information from the Federal University of Bahia, Brazil. Currently, he's researching geospatial data quality, collaborative mapping, and the new technologies which are driving the generation and update of geospatial data. So I am going to hand over to the presentation a proposal for a QGIS plugin for spatial temporal analysis of OSM data quality. You have about 20 minutes, and I will let you know when you have about five minutes uh, before to finish. So the floor is yours. Thanks, Professor. I will share. I will. Uh, can you see my my? We can indeed. Yes. Oh, thanks. Uh, first, I uh, would like to thank the opportunity to learn and uh, share uh, information about uh, uh, OpenStreetMap, Open Data, and Open Source in general. I'm sure this is a great opportunity to me and my research group. Um, my our research, uh, our paper is a proposal for a KGS looking for spatial temporal analysis of open switch map data quality, the case study for the city of Salvador Brazil. Uh, besides me, the other authors of this paper is Fabrício Morin and Leonardo Silva. Uh, are Leon, uh, Fabrício Morin and Leonardo Silva. They are my colleagues at the Federal University of Paraná, and they they are a student. Uh, the PhD uh, they are a PhD student too. Uh, Márcio Schmidt and Silvana Camboim are our advisor, uh, and Vivian Fernandes was my advisor in my master degree at Federal uh, University of Bahia. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need to say to you that this is my first presentation in English and I'm a little nervous and eager and I hope you can understand everything I, I explained, but uh, uh, anything you, you didn't uh, don't understand, I'm, uh, I'm, you can submit in the web chat, you can send email, my Professor Silvan and Professor Márcio and Fabrício here, I think they uh, can help me too. Uh, so. Uh, let me see here. The, the slides are. I'm sorry. Yes, your slides are visible. Uh, okay, because yes, uh, the scientists. Uh, uh, by the introduction, the technological advances allowed there to exist a series uh, of methodologies now for obtaining geospatial data. And uh, because of this, one of the most and relevant topics by the scientific uh, community, community concerns to development of methodologies for the evaluation and representation of geospatial data quality. Uh, and uh, because of this uh, aspect, it's vital, it's vital to incorporate procedures for quality evaluation as the diverse sources that contemplate these methodologies, because now we have uh, new gel technologies uh, to generate geospatial data. You have uh, uh, we have a uh, reference mapping or topographic mapping, and we have the topic about the geospatial data quality. Uh, for developing countries, for developing countries, for example, uh, as Brazil, uh, the lack of investment for maintenance of topographic mapping, especially on a big scale, is a recurring challenge for the national maps. And how I said, uh, the technological advances have enabled a series of methodologies for obtaining geospatial data and uh, an example is present as volunteer geographic information and in this case the update of information may occur faster with uh, reduced cost uh, 
because in the, this aspect is uh, important uh, in develop, developed areas uh, 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 such as Brazil because uh, uh, studies have areas in Brazil that never been mapped and the topographic mapping and the scale one for 25,000 uh, scale is nearly 5% of its station. Uh, a case full of VGI is the open street map project because of the number of research about uh, this project, the number of contributions, contributors, and uh, etc. Um, and to understand the quality of open uh, street map factories and their in potential in uh, topograph uh, in sorry. And uh, to understand the quality of open street map factories and their integration potential and topographic mapping, different surveys worldwide have uh, put efforts to evaluate uh, its quality, whether by extrinsic or intrinsic aspect. Uh, and uh, in this regard, uh, some students uh, have evaluated the quality of open street map factories by combining extrinsic and intrinsic experts. And we have a topographic map and we have a, a, a VGI data factories and we have a, a extrinsic uh, ways to evaluate and use in a completeness, positional accuracy, thematic accuracy, logical consistency or usability and intrinsic parameters uh, as a last addition of the pictures, number of pictures, uh, number of users, and edit history. And intrinsic parameters is important, especially when uh, the topographic mapping is not uh, available uh, in certainly area. Uh, the literature identifies as uh, talking about now the problem and hypothesis about our paper. The literature identifies as one of the main challenges for the integration process, uh, the heterogeneity of the data, the value of the quality parameters may vary in according to the study area, the indicator used, or even the temporal variation and the dynamics of the temporal space itself. And in this contest to understand the integration of open street map data to the topographic mapping, it's crucial to connect the uh, aspect related to the, to the quality and the heterogeneity of data. Uh, because uh, Bezier uh, result uh, argued that uh, based on the obtained quality, the resources resulting from VGI uh, may be used to integrate, detect the changes, or report errors in um, a topographic map. Uh, and we have a, a topographic map and produced by professionals with homogeneous quality. And in VGI, the data usually arising from uh, uh, is arising from voluntary contributions with heterogeneous quality. How I said. And besides that, research that explore issues of quality, uh, heterogeneity, and contributions patterns. Uh, of open switch map is not widespread uh, in the developing countries yet. Uh, based on these issues addressed, we propose a hypothesis that understand aspect of the of the extrinsic and the extrinsic equality of open switch map victories will help uh, decision making regarding the integration of such data uh, in topographic map. The main focus is on the spatial temporal aspect of contribution uh, in, the, in developing countries. Uh, and talking about our objective, uh, this research uh, has the objective to evaluate uh, the extrinsic quality of open street map victories for the county, uh, the county of Salvador, Brazil. And uh, the open street map factories were compared to topographic mapping of the country from uh, the cartographic and cadastral system of the county of Salvador created in 2006. 
We investigated indicators of positional accuracy, thematic accuracy, and completeness, uh, besides the visualization of heterogeneity of data and the analysis of the editions history. history. And we divided the analysis and uh, results into three uh, phases. Uh, the phase one, it, uh, was a, it was a extrinsic analysis to positional thematic, uh, positional accuracy, thematic accuracy, and completeness. The analysis of positional and thematic accuracy was made through uh, procedures of future sample. Uh, the analysis of, competen of competences occurred from comparing the total number of available features and we use the road, uh, category, uh, categories of the road system, religious, education, and uh, wealthy buildings based on and tags available in open street map and uh, the factories available in topographic map in, uh, uh, in Salvador. Um, map in Salvador. Uh, now to uh, still talking about the phase one, uh, the, the geospatial data, the, posi uh, the positional accuracy, uh, the pursuit per, uh, through the sample data, uh, you, you use the, uh, we use the procedures established, established by Merchant uh, and the thematic accuracy used sample data established by ISO. Uh, to eight, uh, five, uh, nine, uh, or ISO uh, um, created in uh, and one uh, one thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Um, the thematic accuracy used the subdivision area by prefectures neighborhoods uh, to analyze religious, educations, and healthy buildings. And the road road systems we use the uh, we use the uh, study area to be divided by grids one by one percent based on method established by Hackley, Bovelli, uh, different researchers uh, far uh, found in, in literature. The literature. Uh, the second step uh, to verification and specialization uh of the euclidean distance of point reference factories and the open street map in a certain region in brazil it was selected 20 points factories in the coating of salvador uh, it uh, referenced cartographic database and compared it in relation to open street map and we the sub steps and the sub step is we develop a, develop a plugin for the QG software to evaluate positional accuracy using a Python language. Use 20 points in the city of Salvador Bahia uh, in Brazil. Uh, obtain the Euclidean distance between uh, four homologous points in two databases, uh, uh, planimetric coordinates, and demonstrate the heterogeneity in the, in the positional quality of the open switch map data in the city. The third uh, step uh, corresponded to a preliminary evaluation of the behavior of the history of editions of the open switch map VGI platform in Salvador. In this context, the, informa the information was obtained from the application program inter interface produced by Hossom Research Group by the uh, Heidelberg University in Germany. And uh, we selected one region, uh, five by five kilometer rectangle, extracted extract open street map VGI editions started from to 2008 to 2020 using the open uh, OSOM application program in the interface, interface and compute the evaluation of update over time using the Penton language and uh, we calculate the linear regression, statistic, statistic regressions to model this, uh, this evolution uh, over time. Uh, Talking about now the results and discussion, uh, the map, this map and this table of containers in KG, uh, we can view the uh, the behavior of 
of uh, Euclid uh, Euclidean distance of Internet. And uh, we noticed that this calf found uh, varied from uh, one for two, two, uh, 2000, uh, 2000 to one to 3000, while the discrepancies between MAPID coordinated and the reference on varied between uh, 12 meters and uh, 10 meters. Uh, it's important to mention the scales obtained that one to uh, one for 20,000 and uh, to one to uh, 30,000 uh, was based on a, a, leg a Brazilian legislation uh, about uh, about mapping, about uh, positional accuracy mapping uh, uh, created by by uh, in Brazil. Uh, in the completeness, uh, it was observed that victories that correspond to the road of system present better result concerning the older categories. The road of system present a completeness percentage of 18 to 82%, while the other victories, the variation was from 29% to uh, 46%. Uh, the results of the religions, education, and health was computed was uh, represented and computed by using a percentage percentage, uh, and the um, the roads used the difference of the range in the open street map, uh, uh, in the open city map, and the and the reference database use it. And uh, the darker the color here, the better the quality obtained uh, in, the, in the maps represent. Uh, in the um, analysis of open switch map contribution story, uh, it was possible to notice a near linear function with a residual value 94%. It's important to mention you are studying in our research group uh, other uh, mod functions model to represent logistic regression and polygonal regression to, to model uh, the contribu uh, contributions over time. Uh, as, the, as there is finite amount of map uh, mappable elements at given area, you can use this function uh, to model the contributions pattern over time until the region is sectored. It's not the case of, of Salvador because uh, it's a, a, a present a, a good uh, behavior in a linear regression. Uh, besides that, it was possible to observe the patterns of collaboration uh, can be affected by different variables because, for example, here in 2016, for example, more than uh, more than uh, uh, 800 fixtures um, were added uh, in a short period, and this aspect can be related to events uh, such uh, as data importation, importation or map tones, for example. And uh, you are studying the the different uh, 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 things that happen, different of of the influence in the quality, in the data quality uh, of the fixtures in in Brazil. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, by the conclusion, the VGA data quality is directly affected by the heterogeneity of the data, and this aspect uh, can be highlighted that the mapping patterns vary accord to the, according to the place, and uh, based on the obtained results, we notice the relevance in identify the aspects of quality and heterogeneity in open street map contributions. And for Brazil, uh, identify these uh, aspects, uh, characteristics may numerically indicate the integration potential of this data to topographic mapping and knowing more about the nature of the distributions of contributions, it's possible to plan the integration this data with official maps. Thanks. That's great. Thank you very much. And I'll just give you a comment that uh, for your first ever presentation in English, that was really, really excellent. So uh, very clear and very easy to understand. So uh, Thanks. well done. Now, I'm going to invite the audience to type in some questions, either in the chat or the questions window, but there already uh, is a comment uh, 
and I think I, I might need to refer to one of your, your previous slides. Uh, Diane mentioned, I think it was on the positional accuracy uh, overlay or positional accuracy map that you had. Uh, Diane said it would be really nice to see that map overlaid with the imagery that was used. D you don't need to worry about going back to the slide now, but have you any idea about the imagery that might have been used to trace or uh, trace objects? And would that have had an effect on the positional accuracy? Because it looks like some of the, some certain geographic regions have poorer uh, accuracy than others. It seemed to be, the accuracy seemed to be clustered quite, quite neatly. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you were talking about the question asking uh, uh, using the KGIS plugin. Uh, no, just just back. You you had a plot. Uh, you mm -hmm. had a, a map plot there showing the data quality score, the positional accuracy, uh, and one of the participants said that it would be really nice to see an overlay, this mm -hmm. overlaid with the actual imagery that. The, from that maybe OpenStreetMap contributors used. Uh, in in terms of your experience uh, in that region, what what is the how good quality is the imagery, and has this a major effect on on the quality of the OpenStreetMap data? Uh, okay, uh, in my opinion, I think there are many many causes. Né? Uh, the um, the reasons to quality positional positional accuracy was affected. For example, the the uh, the website the the way when the user did the way and the time the the, the period when the user did the uh, do does the did the the editions. For example, uh, the for example, if he did the editions in using IG, for example. Uh, uh, the uh, in, in a day, for example, uh, ah, if I did this edition in 2011, for example, uh, the image, the Bing image of Bing satellite can be different uh, in 2016, for example, and uh, the different editions over time uh, can be uh, generate of heterogeneity of the data. For example, in this work, I used the I the, uh, in my my master thesis and my uh, PhD thesis. Uh, uh, I'm doing the the now I'm studying the PhD, and I we I realized it. We and my advisors and my colleagues, uh, for example, um, uh, this there isn't only scale. For example, to say ah, a scale of OpenStreetMap is one, uh, one at uh, twenty thousand, one at thirty thousand. It depends of the area. In Salvador, for example, uh, I didn't, I did, uh, we did uh, differ, uh, different, different. Uh, uh, we uh, calculated the positional accuracy in different uh, in different areas, and for example, we realized we noted. That uh, uh, the quality uh, it's variable in, um, uh, for example, at one to twenty thousand, uh, one for twenty thousand scale, uh, one, uh, one for twenty thousand scale for one to thirty thousand scale, and for example, in this example in Salvador, in the same place, uh, I we found uh, uh, eleven. Uh, 11 meters of uh, Euclidean distance and 10 meters. I think, in my opinion, uh, and I, I, uh, it depends of the time uh, when the user on uh, did the editions. For example, uh, uh, if you would talk about, uh, if you take a look now in the ID, for example, ID uh, editions, the uh, website of ID, you can. Uh, I realize it that. Uh, for example, there are editions, there are uh, buildings or race editions, and the 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 images the the Bing image, for example, it's not uh, in the same place. There are a little difference, and I think in uh, the time, 
uh, the time the website when they if they use JAWS and they import data, they they if, if you use the ID or, or different uh, uh, place, uh, different websites to to edit. Great, absolutely, I, I agree with that. Just a, a couple of questions, and I'm going to group the three questions together from the Venulus chat. Uh, your QGIS plugin, so people are interested in knowing, firstly, will you be publishing uh, the QGIS plugin? Yes, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, and the second one then is, with this plugin, is it possible to conduct the same type of analysis on different areas? Actually, they are available on, on GitHub. I will can send a, a, a link, a web linky, uh, or I can send by mail on a web chat. I need to open here. Uh, let me see here. I will see if I, I can submit now. Uh, the, here. Yeah, I, I think you'll be uh, able you to submit it in the web chat. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me see. I can see. I can, uh, I can submit in the web chat now. Okay. Here. Okay. I couldn't I couldn't hear but I can send I can send after because I'm I'm, I'm yeah, I, I send it I send it in yes don't worry oh, okay yeah, yeah sure. don't worry yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, thanks uh, uh, let's see actually you can use you can uh, uh, do the analysis in in other areas actually we did we are now we look for you are looking for a way to find uh, to um, to uh, localize the homologous homologous point because uh, to use uh, this plugin on QGIS we need to insert we need to, to we need to to insert the point uh, of reference data and lines because the plugin uh, in point, uh, uh, to evaluate the line points with a buffer do a buffer Method established by Hackley and Brevelli and uh, Brazilian uh, uh, research uh, and po point uh, features and you talk with the distance Euclidean, the relation of the buffer area. And but uh, if you want to um, uh, use in other area, only you need is a is a sample of the uh, of the uh, evaluated features. And the um, the reference fixtures uh, uh, top uh, fi uh, selected. We are creating now. I, I'm studying uh, in my research group with my professor, my advisors, and my colleagues uh, a method to find a uh, homologous point out, uh, in automatic way. But uh, uh, the only requests we need now it's an open box in our box on KQGs. Is to is a um, is um, uh, sorry to um, to uh, to insert the evaluated fixtures the the evaluated fixtures and the and the um, uh, uh, reference fixtures and they will calculate the Euclidean distance and represent the 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 homogeneous discrepance discrepancies. That's great, thank you. And the the link to GitHub uh, has been uh, published there in, in the chat. Just another question from the Venulus chat uh, question area. And I suppose it's a fair question about ex extrinsic quality analysis. Is there, an, uh, is there an assumption made that the reference data itself is homogeneous and up to date? And how would, it, how would your analysis be affected if that was not the case? Actually, it was a big. It was a problem uh, to me. For example, the uh, when I, I did the, the this analysis, for example, the recently the uh, uh, topographic mapping available in Salvador was the uh, created in two thousand six. Because how I said in the presentation, in Brazil there, there is there are many problems to investment and producing. Uh, uh, I think it's a it's a worthy problem because there are research about but in Brazil uh, it's a big area it's a big areas there are areas uh, I've never been mapped uh, uh, before and um, and uh, for example the database the topographic mapping I use it 
to do my 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 analysis né, is uh, created in 2006 and it was a problem I, I'm sure uh, my analysis was affected, especially in the percentage, the percentage, percentage of completeness and uh, <coughs> uh, positional accuracy. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, completeness and uh, thematic accuracy, because, for example, uh, sometimes I find uh, uh, many, many uh, um, uh, factors and open switch map and the uh, reference map and many things are changed and uh, my analysis was affected but uh, for example uh, great uh, good analysis uh, analysis I I could uh, uh, do uh, because of this for example uh, I, I I realized that sure I didn't have time to present but uh, I realize that, for example, uh, OpenStreetMap is a good uh, uh, um, the victories obtained by the OpenStreetMap is good for uh, represented uh, expansion, the urban expansion, expansion, for example, because the areas, for example, when I, I, I evaluated the roads, uh, the quality of the roads, the areas are on the OpenStreetMap when uh, where the better than the official official map is for example uh, in these areas uh, areas when the 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 open city map was better the 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 official map uh, it was areas when the uh, uh, sub uh, new uh, buildings was con was constructed uh, the subway was constructed and and how long how, over time for example but I, I, I'm sure that my analysis was affected because of these, we are uh, recently work uh, results are using combinations, uh, uh, intrinsic and extrinsic uh, parameters to obtain. I'm, I'm uh, doing it in my, in my PhD thesis, for example. I'm studying of relation of the patterns contribution uh, the models, different models, precision of models, of the quality. It's, for example, one of my hypotheses of my PhD thesis. Uh, it's possible to mo to uh, infer the quality, obtain the quality data uh, based in um, in uh, in patterns of contributions. If uh, if that area is saturated, there are differences. Uh, in areas that uh, uh, was from the downtown, for example, I'm uh, I'm based my analysis in this in this uh, in this aspects. And and that actually just leads us probably to the last question because we're almost uh, running out of time. You mentioned about intrinsic data quality, and I'm I'm fascinated with the intrinsic aspects. One of our participants are asking you, are you planning to include intrinsic data quality measures in your plugin, maybe in the future? I think that would be a really interesting development. Yes, actually, when I finish, I finish my, because actually, because of the heterogeneity of the data in the open, in open street map, uh, it was hard to, to model, uh, to, uh, do uh, plugins, for example, uh, in, uh, incorporate every types, every problems, uh, have, no problems, but every especially uh, uh, things uh, that can open switch map because of the heterogeneity of the data. For example, if I only work using a, a if I only work using a reference that databases, it's easier then because I know né, there are a legislation. I know there are procedures to evaluation the quality and open switch map. I re realize it. Uh, the, uh, each area, the quality and the method we need to we we, we need to us you must us is different uh, of area. But and uh, and I in my PhD thesis. I am planning uh, to create uh, different plugins uh, or, or, or model different plugins when I can, for example, uh, create a rel relationship uh, with the, the regression obtained. For example, if I 
uh, here I use in my analysis I use a linear regression, but I I I realize that there I can use the logistic regression, polygonal regression, and based yet on the resid residual values obtained, I can I would you like to I want to model I need to model in the QGs or or, or CGs, uh, Gs in general. I I want to model, for example, the relationship. Yes. Can I can I finish the answer just quickly? Okay. Uh, we are we are we are uh, including all these intrinsic elements. Okay, so? We are thinking that one is to include them JS. Uh, plugin. So it's our plan to keep including more and more analysis, including intrinsic parameters, not just from Elias' research, but from our of our students. Okay, that's that's great. A, a combined uh, answers, but uh, I think we can look forward to uh, some exciting results in in the future. So, just in the interest of time, uh, I'm just going to draw the particular session around this talk to a close. Uh, I just going to remind everyone that you can move over to breakout room two after this if you'd like to follow up uh, with actually the whole team here uh, around this paper on any of the issues around the paper or explore some possibilities of collaborations for the future. And of course, I want to thank our speaker for an excellent talk, your first talk in English and uh, you have really uh, done a great job. I enjoyed uh, the presentation and I wish you all the best for your future research. No doubt we'll be talking to each other again at future State of the Map events all going well. So we can do a virtual round of applause and uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Yes.